The views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. This is an initiative of Insight for New Housing's Executive Director Greg Bell in conjunction with BronxNet Public Access Television's channels 67, 68, 69, 70, and Verizon Fios channel 33, 34, 35, and 36. Hey everybody, my name is Aria Feliciano and I'm a graphic artist and animator. And I'm proud to host the Greg Bell Speaking Community Calendar, brought to you by Broxnet Public Access Television. You can find it on channels 67, 68, 69, and 70 on Optimum, or channels 33, 34, 35, and 36 on Verizon Fios. Heads up, New Yorkers. COVID infection rates continue to rise in the Bronx and NYC. It is important not only to take all safety precautions, i.e. wear a mask, social distance from others, avoid crowds, but to also regularly test to ensure that you are COVID-free to help stem community spread. For a list of testing sites throughout the Bronx, please go to nyc.gov forward slash coronavirus. Once again, that website is nyc.gov forward slash coronavirus, or you can call 311. On February 4th, there will be three events. First event, New York Botanical Garden presents the 21st Annual Winter Lecture Series, Gardens of Meaning, online. This year's speakers approach the garden from non-traditional perspectives, healing, inclusiveness, and music, that add new layers to our notions of beautiful spaces and the gardening experience. This lecture will take place online. Registered students will receive login instructions. This runs from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. For more information, please go to nybg.org. Once again, that's nybg.org. Or you can call 718-817-8700. Once again, that's 718-817-8700. Second event on February 4th. Susan Says NYC Walkabouts, in partnership with the New York Adventure Club, presents Belmont Bronx, from NYC's real Little Italy to the Bronx Zoo, a virtual tour. What's so special about New York City's neighborhood of Belmont? From over 30 mom and pop shops serving everything from tantalizing cheeses and sausages to warm bread and freshly filled cannoli, to being home to a world premier zoo, botanical garden, and university, this Italian community is steeped in history, not to mention some of the best food in the Big Apple. But how did this Bronx neighborhood go from a rural enclave to a lively hub for food, arts, and culture? Join New York Adventure Club as we explore the Bronx neighborhood of Belmont, often referred to as Arthur Avenue, the real Little Italy of New York City. This event runs from 1 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. For more information, please go to adventureclub.com. Once again, that website is adventureclub.com. Or you can call 917-509-3111. Once again, that number is 917-509-3111. Third event on February 4th. NYC Parks Green Thumb presents Event Planning on a Shoestring Budget Virtual Workshop Want to host a youth event, class, film screening, or any other type of event in your community garden? This workshop will give you the tips on how to plan for successful events for your garden. We will go over types of events for different garden goals, organizing to distribute work evenly among the garden planning team, what permits are required, and finding resources both within and outside of your garden. This workshop will cover best practices for event planning in your garden, including COVID-19 safety protocols. This event runs from 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. For more information, please send an email to greenthumbinfo at parks.nyc.gov. 
Once again, that's greenthumbinfo at parks.nyc.gov. Or you can go to greenthumb.nycgovparks.org. Once again, the website is greenthumb.nycgovparks.org. On February 5th, there will be three events. First event, Montefiore Community Center Mashalu, MMCC, presents Advance and Earn Virtual Open House via Zoom. MMCC offers to pay young adults interested in gaining their high school diploma. They also offer CDL paid trainings. MMCC is an alternative educational and workforce program serving all five boroughs. This event starts at 12 p.m. via Zoom. For more information, please go to mmcc.org. Once again, that is mmcc.org. Or you can call 718-882-4000. Once again, that's 718-882-4000. Second event on February 5th. Made in BC, Dance on Tour presents BCBX. Hip-hop performances and conversations online. Featuring performances of music, dance, and spoken word artists from the Bronx, including Caridad de la Luz, a.k.a. La Bruja, Miss Panic, and William Russ, a.k.a. Tycoon. This event runs from 8.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. For more information, please go to madeinbc.org. Once again, that website is madeinbc.org. Third event on February 5th. Riverdale Senior Services presents Telehealth Discussion Seminar with NY Presbyterian Online. Whether you are new to telehealth or have already done some appointments, this seminar will show you how to get the most out of your telehealth visit. Telehealth visits are being used by more and more doctors and will become even more prevalent in the future. You'll also get a tour of a typical telehealth visit. The seminar is applicable whether you use NY Presbyterian's telehealth or any other telehealth provider. This event runs from 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. For more information, please go to rssny.org. Once again, that website is rssny.org. Or you can call 718-884-5900. Once again, that's 718-884-5900. On February 6th, there will be four events. First event, Bronx River Alliance presents Winter Work Days at the Foodway in Concrete Plant Park. Help us lay mulch, prune plants, and more as the Bronx River Alliance prepares the Foodway for its 2021 Spring Revival. Shake the wintertime blues and lend a hand this winter at the Bronx River Foodway. This event is from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Concrete Plant Park is located at Bronx River between Westchester Avenue and Bruckner Boulevard, Bronx, New York. Please note, this event will respect the COVID-19 social distancing guidelines outlined by the NYC Mayor's Office. Extra masks will be available on site. All ages and skill levels are welcome. For more information, please email concretefriends at gmail.com. Once again, that email is concretefriends at gmail.com. Or you can call 917-560-9805. Once again, that's 917-560-9805. Second event on February 6th, Urban Park Rangers presents Hunter Island Sunset Hike at Orchard Beach Parking Lot in Pelham Bay Park. As the sun hangs low over on the horizon, the park morphs into a magical realm. Witness the wonder of sunset with the Urban Park Rangers. Please note, Urban Park Rangers is offering outdoor programs with limited attendance so that you can have a safe and enjoyable time in the parks. We are asking everyone to help us stay safe. Stay home if you're sick, maintain six feet of physical distance between households, wear a face covering. This event runs from 4.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Meet at the northwest corner of Orchard Beach parking lot in Pelham Bay Park. 
For more information, please call 718-319-7258. Once again, that's 718-319-7258. Or you can go to nyc.goparks.org. Once again, that website is nyc.goparks.org. Third event on February 6th. Little Africa Bronx News presents the First City Council District 16 Candidate Forum for the 2021 elections virtual. Join us to learn more about our District 16 City Council candidates, Althea Stevens, Yves Phileas, and Amadou Diallo. This event is from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. The forum will be live streamed via Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Little Africa Bronx. Once again, that's facebook.com forward slash Little Africa Bronx. It will also be streamed via Zoom, and you can find a registration link at tinyurl.com forward slash cd16forum. Once again, that link is tinyurl.com forward slash cd16forum. For more information, please go to littleafricabronxnews.com. Once again, that's littleafricabronxnews.com. Fourth event on February 6th. Boogie Down Books presents Boogie Down Storytime Virtual. Join author Rio Cortez for a virtual reading of the ABCs of Black History. Boogie Down Storytime is a family-friendly experience that cultivates early literacy awareness through joyful reading experiences. A Q&A so young readers can engage directly with the author. Opportunities for young readers to thrive and learn from repetition with rituals and routines, like mindful breathing, that build social emotional skills. Interactive questioning and discussion activities that build community and celebrate the contributions young readers make to conversations about books, reading, and the world. This event starts at 10 a.m. For more information, please go to boogiedownbooks.com. Once again, that website is boogiedownbooks.com. Or you can call 347-916-6234. Once again, that's 347-916-6234. On February 7th, Urban Park Rangers presents Historic New York, Old Croton Aqueduct, Van Cortlandt Nature Center in Van Cortlandt Park. Historic New York programs highlight the history and architecture of selected neighborhoods or parks. Built between 1837 and 1842, the old Croton Aqueduct was New York City's first water supply system. It replaced the inadequate wells, springs, and ponds used until then. Drawn from the Croton River in Westchester County, the abundant clean water helped fuel a population boom and remained in service until 1958. Please. Help us stay safe. Stay home if you're sick, wear a face covering, bring your own hand sanitizer. This event starts at 1 p.m. Van Cortland Park is located at West 246th Street and Broadway, Bronx, New York. For more information, please call 718-548-7070. Once again, that's 718-548-7070 or go to nycgovparks.org. Once again, that's nycgovparks.org. On February 8th, there will be three events. First event, NYC Parks Green Thumb presents ADA Garden Design, virtual. This workshop will review best practices to make your garden accessible to all people in your community. This presentation will show you how ADA, or Americans with Disabilities Act standards, can be used to design an accessible garden. We will discuss the guidelines for making paths, raised beds, and other garden structures accessible to people who use wheelchairs, walkers, and other mobility aids. We will discuss dimensions, materials, and installation methods that can be planned and implemented with your garden group. This event starts at 12 p.m. For more information, please go to greenthumb.nycgovparks.org. Once again, that website is greenthumb.nycgovparks.org. 
second event on February 8th. Riverdale Senior Services presents Frauds and Scams, presented by Ponce Bank, virtual. Fraud and scams are more widespread than ever. Ponce Bank offers an in-depth look at typical frauds and scams. We'll have a presentation and open discussion about best practices and how to protect ourselves. Learn how to identify common types of fraud and scams, like how to protect your personal information and how to properly report scams and frauds safely. Types of frauds being discussed include investment scams and banking scams. This event runs from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. For more information, please go For more information, please go to rssny.org. Once again, that website is rssny.org. Or you can call 718-884-5900. Once again, that's 718-884-5900. Third event on February 8th. Councilman Mark Jonah presents FY22 Informational Funding Teletown Hall for Nonprofits in District 13, virtual. Topics will include applying for funding, important deadlines, and more. This fiscal year 2022 discretionary funding expense application deadline is February 16th. This event is from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. To RSVP and submit questions, please call Councilman Mark Jonah's office at 718-931-1721. Once again, that's 718-931-1721 or send an email to mjonah at council.nyc.gov. Once again, that email is mjonah at council.nyc.gov. On February 9th, Riverdale Senior Services presents Contemporary Art of the Hebrew Home at Riverdale Collection, virtual via Zoom. Explore the Hebrew home at Riverdale's renowned contemporary art collection in a Zoom talk with curator Susan Shevlo. The collection includes paintings, prints, photographs, and sculpture in a range of styles, from cubism to pop art. Artists to be discussed include Richard Avedon, Romare Bearden, Frederick Brenner, Jim Dine, Herbert Ferber, and more. This event is from 4.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. For more information, please go to rssny.org. Once again, that website is rssny.org. Or call 718-884-5900. Once again, that's 718-884-5900. On February 10th, Wave Hill presents... Marika Hughes and Charlie Burnham Performance, a virtual concert. This performance is the second in a series of three virtual concerts that bring together artists who have established relationships with Wave Hill as past performers or who were scheduled to perform before the pandemic shutdowns. This event is from 7 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. For more information, please call 718-549-549. 3200. Once again, that's 718 549 3200. Or go to wavehill.org. Once again, that website is wavehill.org. On February 11th, there will be three events. First event Bronx Arts Ensemble presents Lunch, Concert, and Learn, Black History Month, Yaya Kamate virtual. Yaya Kamate, joined by his African drumming and dance group, will present the African diaspora through music, dance, and call and response, including Mr. Kamate explaining the origins of America's Black History Month. Mr. Kamate will also elaborate on how he shares his personal story of the African experience. This event starts at 1 p.m. via Facebook. You can watch the live stream at facebook.com forward slash Bronx Arts Ensemble. Once again, the live stream is facebook.com forward slash Bronx Arts Ensemble. For more information, please go to bronxartsensemble.org. Once again, the website is bronxartsensemble.org. Second event on February 11th. Wave Hill presents 
e-birding workshop, virtual. Using your birding skills and digital smartphone or tablet applications, record and report bird activity in real time directly from wherever you are. Your window, your local park, right here at Wave Hill, or anywhere on the go. Prepare for the Great Backyard Bird Count 2021 while connecting with scientists and birders from around the world and build a log of your personal sightings virtually. Led by naturalist and Audubon guide, Gabriel Willow. This event is from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Registration is required. For more information, please call 718-549-3200, extension 251. Once again, that's 718-549-3200, extension 251. Or go to wavehill.org. Once again, that website is wavehill.org. Third event on February 11th. Riverdale Senior Services presents Adjusting to Change with Paul Heron, virtual. This ongoing group gives members the opportunity to discuss any of the myriad of changes, large or small, pleasant or not, that accompany one's graduation into senior life, as well as the impact of COVID-19 on our lives. Members are encouraged to discuss whatever is on their minds and to share their experiences past and present with the group. This event runs from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. For more information, please go to rssny.org. Once again, that website is rssny.org. Or you can call 718-884-5900. Once again, that number is 718-884-5900. All right, and this concludes this edition of the Speaking Community Calendar. The following public service announcements are available to the public all year long. Attention parents. International Leadership Charter High School at Riverdale presents Virtual Open House, changing lives and transforming communities one scholar at a time. International Leadership Charter High School is accepting applications now for ninth grade students for the 2021-2022 academic year. The virtual open house will be held on February 12th at 12 p.m., February 25th at 5 p.m., March 5th and March 19th at 12 p.m., and March 25th at 5 p.m. For more information, please go to ilchs.org. Once again, that website is il chs.org Kingsbridge Heights Community Center presents Weekly Pregnancy Group Kingsbridge Heights Community Center welcomes you to join their weekly pregnancy group. Their mission is to support mothers on their exciting journey through pregnancy. There will be information on birth, delivery, breastfeeding, parenting, and child development. Begin your journey to motherhood with Weekly Pregnancy Group, where you can find support and make friends. All services are free. Refreshments will be served. KHCC will be following a safe reopening plan, and you can visit the website to read a full list of COVID-19 safety protocols for in-person events. Kingsbridge Heights Community Center is located at 3101 Kingsbridge Terrace, Bronx, New York. For more information, please go to khcc-nyc.org. Once again, that website is khcc-nyc.org. Or call 718-884-0700. Once again, that number is 718-884-0700. Hello, New Yorkers. NYC Unity Project invites you to explore the LGBTQ coronavirus resources online. In response to the COVID-19 pandemic, the NYC Unity Project surveyed hundreds of LGBTQ program and service providers across New York City to develop this resource page, which includes up-to-date information on LGBTQ resources still available during the COVID-19 pandemic. If you notice resources that are missing or you have additional updates to share, please email amcgovern at unityproject.nyc.gov. 
Once again, that email is amcgovern at unityproject.nyc.gov. For more information, please go to growingupnyc.cityofnewyork.us. Once again, that website is growingupnyc.cityofnewyork.us. Or you can call 311. Heads up, New Yorkers. COVID infection rates continue to rise in the Bronx and NYC. It is important not only to take all safety precautions, i.e. wear a mask, social distance from others, avoid crowds, but to also regularly test to ensure that you are COVID-free to help stem community spread. For a list of testing sites throughout the Bronx, please go to nyc.gov forward slash coronavirus. Once again, that website is nyc.gov forward slash coronavirus, or you can call 311. Hey, Bronx Small Business Community. Free face coverings for your small businesses and their employees. The City of New York will distribute more than 4 million face coverings citywide to small businesses and their employees as we move towards reopening the local economy. To get these resources to you and your employees, the NYC Department of Small Business Services and NYC Department of Consumer and Worker Protection are working with business-serving partner organizations throughout the five boroughs. If you are a small business with fewer than 100 employees looking to secure free face coverings for your employees, please go to nyc.gov forward slash SBS to find a distribution partner located near you. Once again, that website is nyc.gov forward slash SBS, or you can call 311. This is an important PSA for the blind and visually impaired community of the Bronx. Visions Services for the Blind and Visually Impaired is very happy to be restarting its in-home vision rehabilitation therapy and community mobility training. Free vision rehabilitation training is offered by Visions certified professional staff throughout NYC, Long Island, Westchester County, and the Lower Hudson Valley. If you or a loved one are experiencing legal blindness or you are not sure if your severe vision loss qualifies for services, Please contact Visions to learn about free services. You can call 212-625-1616 and ask for intake. Once again, you can call 212-625-1616 and ask for intake. Or you can send an email to crivera at visionsvcb.org. Once again, you can send an email to C. Rivera at visionsvcb.org. To learn more about how Visions is responding to the COVID-19 pandemic, including the steps we are taking to ensure our services continue to run efficiently and safely, please go to visionsvcb.org. I'd like to thank all my speaking community calendar viewers and listeners for tuning into the speaking community calendar. Now to submit your community event, please go to bronxnet.org slash your Bronx. Once again, it's bronxnet.org slash your Bronx. The Greg Bell Community Calendar is brought to you by BronxNet Public Access Television, Channel 67, 68, 69, and 70, along with Verizon Bios Channel 33, 34, 35, and 36.